Alright everyone, here we go. My time as Ventosaka, the honor student, ends once I leave the school. The next half a day is reserved for the other me. I have to become a mage of the Tosaka. When I arrive back at the house, I'm greeted with the pulsing light of my answering machine. I have a feeling I know what he's going to say, but I better listen or I won't hear the end of it later. I press the play button and hear a familiar male voice. Okay, is this voice now available for me to increase the volume on or am I like, do I have to wait till we actually see him? Let's see, I think we can do it now. I think once all voices are heard, they're unlocked. Ah, see? Boom. Perfect. The priest cuts straight to the point. Master no can you hook sir to you no nara? Liar. I bet you could find a backup right away. お前にはすでにレイジの兆しが現れているのだ。さっさとサーバントを召喚し、レイジを開け。もっとも聖杯戦争に参加しないというのならば話は別だ。命が惜しいのなら早々に教会にかけ込むがいい。The voice mail ends. It was a clear message in simple language. If you're gonna fight, then be ready by today. If you aren't, then retire, because you're in the way. <laughs> you tell him, Rin. It's only to be expected, I guess. Today's the last day I can drag this out. Thankfully, I managed to decipher Father's notes yesterday. My battle preparations are in order. All that's left is to seize the right to participate, as he said. <laughs> The mages who take part in the Holy Grail War are called masters. It doesn't denote a rank of any kind. It merely describes their role. There's a condition to participate in the Holy Grail War. You must summon a familiar called a servant and form a contract with them. Regardless of your skills as a mage, you are not recognized as a master unless you command a servant. There's a clear difference between servants and normal familiars. The way you summon and use them are different. Mages who plan to fight in the Holy Grail War prepare summoning catalysts, but... I don't own any relics for the connection to a servant. That you know of. I can summon one, yes. In fact, I could do it right now if I wanted to, as well as form a contract. This town's ley lines are under the jurisdiction of the Tosaka. I'm the heir to the clan that's administered the land for generations, so my performance will not take a backseat to some visiting mage. Although, while that is true, it'd be awfully incompetent of me to embark on a figurative voyage without a compass. <laughs> In other words, I need some outrageously valuable item, like a sword or a piece of armor that servant owned, or maybe a bone or heraldry related to them. The pendant I discovered in the basement last night is an ancient artifact of the highest quality. It's amazing all on its own. Still, it won't help me summon a servant. Hmm. 
そもそも私以外にセーバーを扱えるマスターなんているはずないし。All right, I've made up my mind. I'd rather not get another earful and waiting until the last minute doesn't sit right with me. Now the real challenge begins. Tonight, I'm going to summon a servant while I'm in peak condition and acquire a saber by force. Late night. The clock reads almost 2 a.m. This is the period where everything lines up. My condition peaks at 2 a.m. sharp. In terms of limits, this will be my first and last chance, so I can't afford even the slightest mistake. I inscribe magic circles into the floor of the basement. Actually, it doesn't take a major evocation to call forth the servant. Servants are invited by the Holy Grail. Masters anchor them to the world and supply the magical energy to materialize them, but the servants are the ones who choose to respond to the summons. Still, I need to keep cautious and focus. Magic circles are normally drawn with blood, but tonight I draw mine with melted jewels. I'm using half of the jewels I've accumulated over my lifetime, so I'll never financially recover from this if it fails. It's almost 2 a.m. I finish drawing the summoning circle passed down to the Tosaka line and face it with all my being. I flick a formless switch within myself. With a click, I feel my insides turn over to something else. My normal nerves invert and become circuits for conducting magical energy. Rin Tosaka is no longer human. She's just a component in the execution of mystics. I melt from my fingers. No, I'm filled up from my fingers. The mana I'm taking in is so dense it overwrites my bodily sensations. That's why I'm being destroyed at the same time, I'm being filled. Running through my body is the power, mana, from the atmosphere. I convert into a different type of energy through my body circuits. A mage's body is nothing but circuits. Circuits to connect the ethereal to the material. The mystical outcome reproduces what we call magecraft. My body grows hot. It seems like horns are growing from my forehead. It seems like wings are sprouting from my back. It seems like scales are covering my hands. It feels like there's water pooling around my ankles. Sweat drips. Stab, stab. Swords pierce my body. These are the stigmata that reject my body, which become a circuit. No matter how gifted a mage is, we're only human. In a human body, the pain is something we must live with whenever we use magecraft. The cycle doesn't let up. Beyond the agony, Deep within the trance lies the mental state necessary for connection. Pain wiggles in my left arm. 
to aid the caster, my magic crest autonomously begins an incantation, invading my nervous system. The mana in the atmosphere I've taken in turns to blood. It's like molten lead. While my activated magic crest resembles thorny nerves. With a crunching sensation, it creeps throughout my body like a thorny centipede. Ah, I don't like that. <laughs> Within the hurt, I forget myself. At the same time, I can feel it taking hold of me, like I reach where I need to go. My hypersensitive hearing picks up the ticking clock in the parlor. 10 seconds left until 2 a.m. The power filling my body is unquestionably complete. <laughs> Time to begin. I convert the mana I've collected into magical energy for fixation. All that's left is to feed all that energy into the engine, the summoning circle, until my body runs dry. My vision goes dark. What lies before me now is the fifth factor, said to be imperceptible to the naked eye. My vision shuts off on its own, fearing what it might see. That went off without a hitch. It feels so perfect, it's like I'm reeling in a whale with a fishing rod. Flawless. I'm positive I just drew the strongest card. I can't wait for my vision to return. It'll take a few more seconds, but when it does, I'm sure the strongest servant will. Be nowhere in sight. Hi? Nothing's there. The room doesn't look different at all. I spun that much ether into this ritual, only for absolutely nothing to materialize. On top of that, I think I just heard something explode in the parlor. I bolt. My head's empty at this point. I just run. I race up the stairs from the basement. The door to the parlor is askew off its hinges. There isn't any point in turning the doorknob. And since it won't open, whether I push or pull. I kick it down and burst into the room. And the moment I enter the parlor, everything becomes clear. Everything is in tatters. Rubble is strewn across everything, as if something has fallen through the ceiling. On top of it all, sits a man cocking his head arrogantly. He must be some kind of criminal. But something graver draws my attention. The grandfather clock having escaped destruction tells the time precisely. Now I remember. Right, of course. 
The clock were an hour ahead today, weren't they? Which means it's 1 a.m. Still a full hour left until I'm in peak spellcasting form. I can complete tasks as well as anybody else, but suffer from the curse of my genetics. When it really counts, I somehow managed to bungle things on an unbelievable level. I can't believe my own stupidity. Still irritated, I duck my glare at the man lounging haughtily on the rubble. Welcome, Archer. Let's increase your voice. All the way through. Off the charts. Let's go. There you are. The man in red mantle shakes his head in a show of exasperation. To add insult to injury, he mutters something about drawing the short straw. Oh, now I'm dead certain. This guy has a messed up personality. And is this... a servant? I thought familiars were shapeless beings, but this is just a man. No, not just a man. Even from here, I can tell that it's brimming with a shocking amount of magical energy. Don't be fooled by its appearance. I'm staring at something that's undoubtedly more than human. It's a human-shaped ghost that's on the level of an elemental. This is no time to be dumbstruck. That thing belongs to me. I need to get my head in the game. ここまで乱暴な召喚は初めてでね。正直、状況がつかめない。私だって初めてよ。そういう質問は却下するわ。そうか。だが、私が召喚された時に、君は目の前にいなかった。これはどういうことなのか、説明してくれ。本気?ひ
I repeat myself, stealing my gaze. I'm not gonna back down from this condescending jerk. Oh, Naruhodo, Naruhodo. So Natari Minokoto, a cotare, Madame Monaito. Jitsun is a machine. Yeah, Kigai Dakanara, Lip Panamasta Danga. Dakala, Jumbo, Machigai, Nati, you know. Ichiban has many Kakuni Surunova, Shokansha, not to meo. Sa, Kotaina Sai. I step forward aggressively, ready to pounce depending on his answer. あ、<笑> I glare at this rude man giving my seething head a moment to cool down. Oh? So, I'm going The servant bleatly asks, smirking all the while. He's clearly trying to gold me with these questions into losing my temper. I show him the command spells on my right hand. Hmm. Don't think I was born yesterday. Father's told me enough that I know what command spells are, at least. I thrust the symbols at him in challenge. But the lounging servant rolls his eyes. <sighs> his face darkens, looking even more disgruntled. That makes sense, but normally you think of command spells if someone asks for proof you're a master, right? He shrugs in mock exhaustion. Uh oh. I reached my boiling point and I'm not going to cool down in time. まあ、ああ、ah, sorry, father. I'm at my limit. そう。不満だけど認めるくせに私の意見には取り合わないってどういうことかしら。あなたは私のサーバントなんでしょう? I ask in a trembling voice. After I spat over the command spells, this is my last desperate attempt at dialogue. And yet... Ah, 
戦うのは私自身だ君はこの家の地下にでも隠れて聖杯戦争が終わるまでじっとしていればいいそれなら未熟な君でも命だけは助かるだろう He's looking down on me, declaring that he expects nothing from me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 どうせ君にレイジは使えまいまあ後のことは私に任せて君は自分の身の安全をあったまきたいいわそんなに言うなら使ってやろうじゃないアンファン You did it now, Archer. No more mercy. I've got nothing else left for a jackass like this. Masaka. So no Masaka, you can't read it. Fiat Rock, I know your nag. I know your skin. I know your sweet breath. Wait, Shoukia Masa. So no good at rage or scow yatsuka. うるさいいいあんたは私のサーバントなら私の言い分には絶対服従ってもんでしょディアンブルムのマイライトハンドエクス3コマンスペルスディアラウマスターとイシュー3アンブレイクボーコマンスとデューサーバントか考えなすか君はこ,こんな大雑把なことにレイジを使うなど Ah, it's too late to whine now. I didn't expect this to happen either. I'm gonna die of self loathing. I can't believe I just burned one of my precious command spells in a petty squabble. After that, I retreated from the ruins of the parlor and went to my bedroom. Before me stands the servant whom my command spells compelled absolute obedience from. Supposedly, anyway. Naruhodo. Kimi no say so a daitai rikai stazo, master. Who would call this absolute obedience? Nen no tame tazneruga. Kimi wa. Reju ga dorekodo juyo ka. Rikai stiri no ka, master. サーバントを利する三回きりの命令権でしょそれが何よ<笑>いいかなレイジはサーバントを強制的に行動させるものだそれは行動を止めるだけでなく行動を強化させるという意味でもある例えば私はここから遠くの場所まで瞬間的には移動できないだがレイジで行けと命じればそれが私と君の魔力で届くことならば可能となる強制命令権とはそういうことだサーバント自身でも制御できない肉体の限界さえ突破させる大魔術の結晶が3つのレイジなのだまあ今では2つに減ってしまったがなそんなこといいじゃないまだ2つあるんだしあなたに命じた規則は無駄じゃないんだし<笑>確かにこれは私の誤算だったレイジというものは曖昧な命令には聞きが弱くなる私を守り通せこの戦いに勝てなどといった広く長く効果が続くものにはレイジの力が弱くなる効き目は長く続くが苦痛が小さいため逆らえるサーバントも出てくるだろう
逆に次の一撃を死ぬ気で放てあのグラスだけは壊すなといった単一の命令は絶対でよほど強力なサーバントでも逆らうのは難しくなるさてここまでで私が言いたいことがわかるなマスターわかるわよ要するに広く長い命令は意味がないんでしょ効果も戒めも薄いならサーバントはレイジュに逆らって行動できるそんな効き目の薄い命令をするなら絶対的な単一の命令をした方がいいそうだレイジュとはもともと自分たちの能力以上の奇跡を起こすためのものそれを大王の効く命令などで消費する具は許されない君の先ほどのレイジュはまさにそれだ私が君に従うかは話し合いで解決できたことだし仮にレイジュを使ったところで全ての言動に絶対服従などレイジュが100あっても実現できないじゃあ私のさっきのレイジュは無意味ってこと通常ならそうなのだがなどうも君の魔術師としての性能は桁が違ったらしいイズイシャークターハピーマイシャーヴィンスリップスイッチアップウォッドイヴァイズケタバチワタッテモスカシテチョタアナタジブンガイマドンナジョータイナノカショジキニハナシテミナサイ The implication dawns on me, and I ask him eagerly. Ah, go son to you know a soda. Sakyodo no mele dewa. Scotia master no ikem o soncho shio to you tedo no kokorogari ni shika naranai. Daga, ima no atashua, kimi no kotoba ni tsiyoi kyose o kanji teiru. Kimi no ikem ni yo tona erito. Soda na. ランクが一つばかり落ちるようだつまりマスターの意向に逆らうと体が重くなって動きづらいというところかマイシャーヴィンシュフォークスインベスグネーションえっとそういうせいなマイコマンスペルはなくてもなくてもなく Still being as sarcastic as ever, so it doesn't seem to have had any effect. Besides, even if he's weakened, I doubt even ten of me could resist if he decided to rebel against me. Then, again, I'll take care of you, Master. Nende wa wakanga, Kimi wa takuetsu shita majutsu shita. Kodomo to anadori, tatakai kara tozaki yo to shita wa watashi no ayamachi datta. ブレートもども謝ろう。Look at that, she earned this respect. The servant straightens his posture and gives me a formal bow. あ、ちょ、やめてよ。確かにいろいろ言い合ったけど、そんなの喧嘩両成敗っていうか。そうか。いや、話のわかるマスターで助かった。なんか切り返し早いわね、あんた。何誤算は誤算だったが嬉しい誤算というやつだったからなこれほどの才能があるのなら君を戦いに巻き込むことに異論はないえ Is this his roundabout way of saying I'm a strong master? じゃあレイジュ抜きで私がマスターだって認めるのね無論だ先ほどは召喚されたばかりで馴染んでいなかったが今では完全につながった魔術師であるのなら契約によるつながりを感じられるだろう契約うん、hmm. Not that he mentions it, something does feel weird about my body It's as if my closed off nerves are now connected to the outside Specifically, I can feel Portion of my magical energy flowing to the man before me. So, 
サーバントは聖杯に呼ばれるけど呼ばれたサーバントをこの世にとどめるのはそうマスターの力だサーバントはマスターからの魔力提供によってこの世にとどまる魔力提供量は十分だ経験的に問題はありそうだが君の能力は飛び抜けている普通の魔術師ならばサーバントを召喚した瞬間に意識を失っているだろうだというのに君は活力に満ちている先ほどのレイジといいこの魔力量といいマスターとして君は間違いなく一流だふ今さら褒めたって何も出ないけど。Quick eye contact out of embarrassment. Well, I didn't see this coming. I know the command spell is making him obey me, but still, this superhuman servant is sincerely acknowledging me as his master. I clear my head and return to business. I take it all back. He's definitely making fun of me. Wakata, wa? Kore wa master to stino stimo yo? Ne, anata, saber janai no? Zanna nagara, ken wa motte inai. I suspected as much. When all said and done, I got the time wrong. My summoning circle didn't do its job, and my servant was spat out into some random room. It was far too sloppy of a ritual to summon the strongest servant, Saber. Saber. <laughs> 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 どうせアーチャーでは派手さに欠けるだろうよいいだろう後で今の暴言を悔やませてやるその時になって謝っても聞かないからなはい What a surprise The unidentified servant seems to be sulking Maybe my fixation on Saber offended him Oh yeah it really did 何勘に触ったアーチャー触った見ていろ必ず自分が幸運だったと思い知らせてやるアーチャーはサイゴロングランズ。He has a really spiteful air about him, but the reaction felt somehow childish and free of malice. You know, he might be a pretty decent guy. そうね。それじゃあ必ず私を後悔させて、アーチャー。そうなったら素直に謝らせてもらうから。ああ、忘れるなよ、マスター。己が召喚したものがどれほどのものか、知って感謝するがいい。もっとも、その時になって謝られても、こちらの気は張るんだろうがな。Archer huffs, even as his lips twist into a grin. Oh, yeah. This one's got a rotten personality, alright. Archer doesn't answer. His sardonic expression is replaced by a deepening frown. Archer? マスターである私がサーバントであるあなたに聞いているんだけどそれは秘密だは私がどのようなものだったかは答えられないなぜかというとあのねつまんない理由だったら怒るわよそれは
there's that face again. Archer opens and closes his mouth as if he's having trouble voicing an uncomfortable truth. Wait, what? ただ、これは君の不完全な召喚の付けだぞ。どうも、記憶に混乱が見られる。自分が何者であるかわかるのだが、名前や素性がどうも曖昧だ。なんだ。そんなことは問題ではなかろう。さまつな問題だよ、それは。さまつってあったね。相棒の強さがわからないんじゃ。作戦の盾用がないでしょ。そんなに戦っていけるわけないじゃない。何を言う。私は君が呼び
that makes six, including me. Once the seventh and final master summons their servant, the Holy Grail War of this generation will begin. In the not so distant future, the battle I've been waiting ten long years for is about to commence. The 31st. Now the 1st. The Holy Grail War. It's a grand ritual that's been repeated for hundreds of years. A fight to the death between seven participants of which only one can survive. It's said that a Holy Grail exists in the land of Fuyuki, and that a number of mages fought over it in the past. Their one and only objective was to obtain the relic called the Holy Grail. However, the Grail's origins are unclear. We're sure it isn't the chalice that held the blood of God, but its power is fearsome enough to be compared to the genuine article. That's right. They say the Holy Grail can grant any wish. Only one person can possess it. The Holy Grail can only grant one wish for one person. Despite that, seven mages are needed to summon the Grail to this land. Seven collaborators to create one miracle. So, as you might imagine, it was only a matter of time before they started fighting over the Grail. Like so many conflicts, it started as a competition over property fights property rights. The seven mages equally use the power of the Holy Grail to summon their respective familiars, then do battle over the Holy Grail itself. Only one mage can obtain the Grail. As a result, seven people who started as colleagues ended up in ferocious battle to the death. That's the gist of the ritual known as the Holy Grail War, a struggle for ownership between mages. The mages chosen by the Holy Grail are called Masters who use the blessing of the Grail to acquire powerful familiars known as servants. Ah, the classes. Two things serve as proof that one has become a master. The summoning and a command of a servant. And the mark of command spells to compel the servant's servitude. The first goes without saying. The archer I summoned yesterday, no, a few hours ago to be exact, is Rin Tosaka's servant. As for the second, a master must closely guard the command spells that control one's servant. This is probably the most critical aspect of being a master. When I summoned Archer, symbols appeared on my right hand, namely command spells. Stigmata bestowed by the Holy Grail upon the summoning of a servant that marks one's new status as a master. A massive amount of magical energy is compressed into these seals, whose power is fleeting rather than long-lasting. They disappear once they're used, and as their shape suggests, each mark represents a single use. In other words, only one only gets three shots. A master who has used up all three command spells can no longer control a servant, and is as good as dead. Therefore, Command spells must be handled with care until the very end, since they are as valuable as one's own life. It pains me to no end that I burned one right off the bat, but it wasn't a total waste, so I'll chalk it up as a win. After all, a servant could turn on its master at any time. If one command spell is what it takes to put a collar on him, then I consider it a fair trade. That's about it for the broader strokes of this business. Once seven servants have been summoned, the Holy Grail War will begin. Tonight's sleep will be a fitful one. I don't know when the final master will appear, but they could be right around the corner. <sighs> I feel sluggish. My blurry gaze goes up to the window, only to see that it's already bright outside. After a drowsy check of the clock, I make up my mind to skip school today. 
体が重い半分以上持ってかれたみたいねこれは Sitting up in bed, I heave a long sigh. Not being a morning person isn't enough to explain why I feel so dull. I think Archer mentioned something about it. A master would be out of commission after summoning a servant. So that's it. I'm a saber, and I'm a saber. I'm a saber. I'm a saber. I remember it all clearly now. I'd rather not, to be honest. But it's not as if denying the facts will let me do it over. I drag myself out of bed. A mental boxing match rages between the outside air, which is quite warm for winter, and the comfort of my bed sheets. It concludes in a three second knockout against the temptation of going back to sleep. I check my body in the mirror. Nothing out of place aside from the loss of half my usual magical energy. I review the situation. I summon the servant Archer, who doesn't have an ounce of respect for his master. To make matters worse, he doesn't even know who he is. Wow, talk about a headache. Servants are strong familiars all on their own. What makes them truly formidable is the secret weapon they each possess. Frustratingly, Archer claims to have forgotten what his is. No worries, Rin, you got yourself a good one. We're both in the same boat then. I can only pray that he'll sort out his memories, but who knows how long that might take. Good grief. I really got my work cut out for. <gasps> the parlor is completely back to normal. I thought he'd maybe just clear away the ditcherness, but the room is so spotless, I can't help but be impressed. He must have felt bad for work wrecking the place. I thought he would have gone to the trouble otherwise. I guess I ought to commend him for being a more decent guy than I. I retract my statement. There isn't a remorseful bone in his body. おはよう。そういうあんたは随分とリラックスしてるよね。今お好き勝手使ってくれちゃってさ。何人晩過ごした部屋だからな。どこに何があるか把握したよ。もう。ついでだから厨房も片付けておいた。もう少し荒れているか